Hey everybody, I want to do a quick video and just show you how you can use the Ichimoku on multiple time frames and use that as your analysis for your day trade entries or your swing trade entries. You can use it on, you can use this technique on any time frame, tick frame, range frame. I'll be doing a webinar on Thursday where I'll briefly go over um, the Ichimoku indicators, but I'll spend more time on the Ichimoku setups and using multiple time frames. And I'll also um, show you how you can use multiple time frames whether you're using Ichimoku or not. So if you want more information just go to my site easyeminitrade.com and all the information is there under the webinar tab at the top of the page. Okay so I'm going to just quickly show you how you can um, use multiple time frames and this is for day trading. As I said you can do the same thing for swing trading. Instead of looking on the smaller charts as I'm going to show you, you could use um, a weekly, a monthly, and a daily chart. But um, So this is the Russell, and this is on a four tick range chart. So this is Friday at 12.55. There's actually a couple setups here at the same time. Um, we have a Chico line breakdown, and if you don't know much about the Ichimoku, at the time that this bar here was um, breaking this area of support, so was this Chico line, and that is a nice entry that we like to use for um, the Ichimoku using the Chico line breakdown or breakout. Also at the same time we have a counter channel um, sell setup. So in looking at this we know that we've got a floor trader pivot um, area below us here at um, 5350 but how you could determine how much room you have um, in the, in the way of this trade, how much room you have below you, is you can look at multiple time frames. So as I said, this is a four tick range chart. And here are the Ichimoku indicators on a two minute chart up here to my left, five minute below that, a 15 minute, you can use a 10 minute, a 12 minute, whatever you like. Here's a 30 minute and a 60 minute. So when day trading, realistically, you would probably just look at like a 2 minute, 5 minute, and 15 minute. You probably would not worry too much about the 30 or 60, um, but you could use them all. So the entry that I just showed you on the 4 tick range chart, when we now look at it on a different time frame, multiple time frames, this would be the bar that was setting up on the 2 minute chart. So if you use the Ichimoku, you can see that we are below the cloud. The Chico line is below price, and at the time the Chico line was forming back here, right here. So you can see it's um, below pr the cloud and it's below price. And now when you look at it on the five minute chart, you can see that the price bar that's forming as we're getting in off that four tick range chart, you can see the bottom part of the cloud right below us here, which often holds as support and resistance. So that's right at 1154.70. The area that you would be looking to take your entry here under this bar off the four tick range chart for the two setups that I mentioned, either a Chico line breakdown or a counter channel setup, would be 1155.20. So if you get in at 1155.20 and you look at this five minute chart and you can see this area of support where you might get stuck at, you could just say to yourself, okay, well, if I take that entry off the four tick range chart, I have to be aware that I've got support at 1154.70. So if I can't get through that area, then that's what I'm going to wind up with as um, my target. But obviously, if you can get through the area, then you can look for bigger targets. So you can see that it did manage to get through the cloud here. When you look at it at the 15 minute chart, on the 15 minute chart, um, on that same bar, you could see below the area of this bar here, we have the cloud, which is at 1150.40. Then on the 30 minute, 1149.60. And on the 60 minute, um, we've got this Keijin line, which is this pink line here, which often acts as support and resistance. Um, and that's at 1152.90. Now, like I said, taking an entry off a smaller chart, you really um, don't even have to look at the 30 or 60. You could just use the 2, 5, and 15 if you like. So you take the entry and again you're being aware of the 5470 area. Once you get through that then you could then 
take your first target, move your stop to a tick better than your entry, and then try to trail for a runner. And you can trail off the smaller um, entry chart that you use. So once you get through this 5470 area, the next area that you'd likely be um, thinking about is this Keygen line on the 60 minute. Again, you don't have to use the 60 for you know, taking entries off the small chart, but this is um, a great example. So if you get through the 5470 area, the next area that you would be looking at is the 5290 based on this Keygen line here. Then once you get through that 5290, the next area that you would be looking to get to would be the top cloud area that, on the cloud on the 15 minute chart, which is at 5040. Then if you can get through that, then you are looking at this 4960 area, the top part of the cloud on the 30 minute. Um, or if you're just going to stick to the um, 15 as your highest time frame that you're looking at, then you would look at the, um, the top cloud at 5040, and then you look at the lower part of the cloud here at, let's see what that is, I can't see past that, is 4980. And then if you can get through the 4980, then it's clear air below. Nothing to um, hold you up until you likely hit the um, previous day's um, close, which is right here on this two-minute chart. So I hope that helps. It's a way that you can have targets out there um, and just know that if you have enough space or not to take the trade. If you don't have a lot of room, then you might pass on the trade, but at least if you do want to take it, you have an idea of where you might get um, hung up at. So this way you're not going in blind thinking, okay, I'm going to get a runner, and then let's say price hits this um, bottom part of the cloud here on the five minute and then bounces, and then you wind up with nothing on your, on your trade. So I hope you find that helpful, and if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email, and hope to see you on Thursday.